Hi everybody, I'm Yotam, I'm with IDS, Israel Defense Store, located in Israel. Uh, we are both a distribution and manufacturing company and we are here today basically for all of you CZ fans out there. We are going to introduce two different solutions for the CZ line of pistols, mostly for the P07, P09 and P010, the Micro Roni for CZ and the line of IDS holsters for CZ. Uh, we'll start with the uh, Micro Roni. So the Micro Roni for CZ is basically the same good old Micro Roni, like, just like the Glock Micro Roni, mostly similar to the Gen 4 with few modification. Um, it will have two different systems. One, this one, that will fit the CZ P10, and then two, one, another system that will fit two different pistols, the P07 and the P09. The one for the P10 basically works just like uh, every other Microni. If we can look inside, the pistol goes very smoothly inside. The cocking handle is all, all the time inside the system. There's a lock of the front rail and then a lock on the back and that's it. The pistol is installed very, very stab uh, stable inside. Minimum recoil. So, same features. Starting with the back, we have a foldable stock. Can be replaced with a brace kind of stock, which will make um, the back of the system a non-NFA configuration. We will talk about it later. So, a foldable stock. Moving forward, flip-up sights. In this configuration, we have a CAA uh, flip-up sight. Of course, any sight with a Picatinny uh, adapter will fit on the higher level. Uh, we, of course, recommend the CAA as it goes very well in terms of height with the reflex sight. This specific reflex sight is a CAA OEM uh, made sight. Um, allows a 4 MOA dot, really, really nice sight. We are the endpoint distributors in Israel, so we mostly recommend to work with the uh, um, micro series by endpoint, either the H1, T1, T2, and so on and so on, whatever you have. Of course, front uh, sight. Then let's go towards the muzzle brake. A really, really cool item, makes the system look really nice. Uh, beside that, allows uh, close uh, combat, close quarter combat, as well as breaking shields, mirrors, windows, or whatever. Nice item, rather new, really nice, goes very well. Okay, moving forward. Integral flashlight, 500 lumens kind of flashlight, really nice, um, doing a good job, and allows either a left or right activation. So this is an ambidextrous kind of item. Moving this one can be replaced with a nice red dot laser, really nice focused um, red dot. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I assume you do. It's a really, really nice item. Also rather, rather new, doing a good job. Okay, moving forward. So, a trigger guard. The trigger guard is not a safety, but it keeps the trigger closed uh, to avoid any uh, mistakes or misfires. Underneath the trigger guard, there are two activation buttons that allow the removal of the front side. This case is the four grip. For the rest, for all the world, this would be probably the best configuration to work with. It allows a really nice uh, spare magazine pouch. The magazine will not go out just like last time. It has a click. You have to click with your thumb and pull it out. So the spare mag is one feature. Uh, and another feature that will be added on the CZ Microni is a front add-on that we're still working on. It will be available rather soon for the US market. So it will not be considered as an SBR because the front side will not be a forearm grip. Okay, so forearm, whatever we'll have, along with the stabilizer stock that is already available, will be the configuration for the US market. I think that we've went um, on the Micro Roni enough. 
Later on, as I said, we'll go out there, shoot a little bit. You can have probably you will see some movies that we did shoot it in the uh, did shoot it in the in the shooting range, but we will have a separate movie for that. Moving towards the holsters. Okay. So the IDS line of holsters um, is a rather new line, really, really nice, already in use by Israel police, Israeli SWAT teams, as, uh, as well as security companies and others. Um, we've just came out with a new holster for CZ, again for the P07, P09, which is basically this one. I personally carry a P07 duty, so this is the level 2. The level 2 for CZ, uh, P07, P09, and then we have one for the P10. Both holsters arrive with either a level 2, like this one, a level 2 configuration, a thumb release configuration. Okay, it's a very natural kind of movement. And when locked, it's locked rather tight inside. Okay, so this is the level 2. Also, we have a level 1 holster that is basically a retention based holster and it's just regularly installed inside. The next item is the low ride adapter which allows um, low position kind of carrying for people that go with either vests or whatever. Um, really really nice for quick draw presentation and so on. The last thing that we offer, the last two things that we offer, uh, the thigh, the thigh uh, holster, or the thigh configuration, the drop leg holster, and then we have also a drop leg for a double magazine pouch. Um, something that I do think of right now, and we will figure it out later on what to do with it, is once we have the micro run CZ available in stock, we will throw in, we will do some kind of a sale, uh, but we will keep you posted about it. I assume that everyone that buys the Micro Roni for CZ will get uh, something from our line of holsters, but for that uh, you have to keep on watching us. Go through, our, um, go through our Facebook, Instagram, or to our website at israeldefensestore.com and find out more details.